Pause. How to have a joyful heart. Table of Contents. Section 1, What is in it for me? Section 2, What do you think? Section 3, Challenges. Section 4, Pause. Section 5, Alternatives. Section 6, Regulated Stress. Section 7, Real Life Experiences. Section 8, Now, I Know. Section 9, Commitment. Let us discuss. Section 1. What is in it for me? In order to have a joyful heart, you need to pause to see the greater picture of things. Acquire this e-book so you will learn its concepts. Enjoy your reading habits, be relaxed, and above all, be informed. Focus, is formed through overlapping relationships of the things that matter most in your life, and all the things that you have control, which you can achieve best by pausing. Pause came out as a result of various chosen alternatives. This is the most critical determinant of achievement, to arrive at a joyful regulated stress, for an eventual peace of mind. Section 2 What do you think? Pausing is the key. Challenges from our inherent problems can be met by pausing, so you can directly, and effectively analyze the situation, with the available resources on hand. Give yourself a break. Having this book is just like that. It will discipline you to achieve a long-lasting peace of mind, which is the offspring of what we normally call, joy. Come to think of it. The bottom line of life is a joyful heart. Nothing more, nothing less. This is the big picture perspective of what truly matters. However, having a book is different from actually reading it. Digesting its contents that can add value to your whole being, is the very essence of owning it. Why waste your time reading a book that does not even put a smile on your capacity to go on with life? This is what we call, inner strength. Having your strength within, not to be disturbed by your hectic environment, is the way to go. This is the real direction for worth living life. I bet you will agree with me. Control in this instance, is generally called self-control. It is the ability to alter and regulate your responses, to avoid undesirable behaviors, increase desirable ones, and achieve short- and long-term goals. Self-control is the chief element in self-respect, and self-respect is the chief element in courage. As aptly said by Thucydides, History of the Peloponnesian War. Through various researches, possessing self-control can be important for health and well-being. Self-control improves life, through better health both physically and mentally. It is said that self-control is the inner strength, that helps us lead healthy, productive, and accomplished lives. Relationship-wise, we want to spend our lives with people we trust and respect. Someone who can override impulses to leave, when going gets tough. As a whole, self-control helps societies flourish. Self-controlled people earn and enjoy greater wealth, and behave more generously. 
with its inhibitory ability, self-control can regulate one's emotions, thoughts, and behavior, in confronting temptations and impulses. It neutralizes these impulses to respond appropriately. Likewise, we need the strength of energy that resides in us, to control our impulses. Marcus Aurelius said it well, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. As an executive function, self-control is a cognitive process, that is necessary for regulating one's behavior to achieve specific goals. Simply put, it is a self-regulation mechanism, to monitor, evaluate, and modify emotional reactions. In the words of Lao Tzu, he who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. This reminds us that one of the most important virtues, are the strength within, and not without. An individual with low self-control, tends to be impulsive, insensitive towards others, risk-takers, short-sighted, and non-verbal. However, in the long term, the use of self-control can strengthen, and improve over time. A real opportunity for success and growth. Section 3, Challenges your burden from the very start. Problems, in all forms and sizes, are here to stay. Success and growth cannot be achieved, if these problems are inexistent. Broadly, they are situations in which we experience uncertainty, or difficulty in achieving what we want to reach for our desired outcome. They need great mental, or physical effort to be done successfully. Being a true measure of one's grit, problems are born the moment they get in the way of something we want, or do not want. Difficult to deal with, or sources of trouble, those are problems. They are all labeled with a negative picture. Although problems and challenges overlap to mean difficult tasks, the inherent difference is like how we treat them. Problems are the whys we act, and challenges are the hows. Problems are the situations that affect us, or might affect us, while challenges are our relative responses to deal with them. If we ignore the problems, they get worse, but when we overcome the challenges, things get better. Imperatively, challenges are our area of focus. They are empowering at their core, something we choose or accept, something imbued with a sense of will. Roy T. Bennett in his book, The Light in the Heart, said it beautifully. Life is about accepting the challenges along the way, choosing to keep moving forward, and savoring the journey. Approaching obstacles as challenges, not problems, would certainly retain the power to act, and influence them, to possibly determine the outcome. Confronted by challenging situations, that may be hard to break and pinpoint their weaknesses, these difficulties thrown before you, may seem unbreakable. Indeed, a tough nut to crack. Relax. Have no fear. This time, you have to face your fear intelligently, and straightforwardly. As the saying goes, life is only 10% of what happens to you, and a whopping 90% on how you respond to them. In analyzing these seemingly unbreakable situations you are facing in question, which apply in most life scenarios, there is the best way to meet them from the very start. This is a flexible approach, but a very firm technique, a bedrock of principle to hold on to, 
and a disciplined approach to moving in the direction of your dreams, or to your desired end result. Fasten your seatbelt, here it comes, and hold on. Section 4, Pause How do you go about them? Simply, your effective response is what I call pause. It is a direct way to clear the cobwebs of your life's grey area. Without a doubt, this should be your initial response, a prelude for all the alternatives to be produced, to come up with the best solution to your dilemma. Taking temporary rest, or taking a break for a short period, after an effort of challenging situations, is the pause needed to properly thresh things out. A pause will certainly help your current difficult tasks in determining intelligently, which is only followed by emotions, those things you can, and cannot control, certainly, a pause is the best way to analyze a difficult situation. It is as simple as that. By pausing, or smartly stepping back to see the big picture, you can generate various alternatives accordingly, to appropriately suit your chosen criteria, in arriving at your preferred state. Pausing is a way to relax your being, to calmly approach a particular situation, be it within your control or not and act confidently with the big picture as your guide. With this process, you have a very organized method of sorting out your priorities. This is what we need, a laser focus approach. You can pray, meditate, exercise, dance, read newspapers, or even eat in the process of pausing when facing these challenges to determine if you can control them or not. You can even hum to your favorite tune, or even verbally sing, while analyzing the situation. Chill as they say. Just like sleeping, there is nothing compared to the feeling of comfort, with the soft pillow under your head. Just let it be. Everything is going to be fine. Believe me. With this simple but amazing method, you can do a lot of things in doing a short-term break, to properly plan your next move. What is important here is that, by stepping back, you can see the whole picture of the situation. Thereby, appropriate moves, from your various alternatives, can be easily generated. So, you can squeeze it down to one best solution. To get more of the benefit of controlling your urge to haphazardly jump for the intended actions, always pause for a moment, to ask yourself first if such a decision to move on is something you can control or not. If you can control, then do whatever is the best alternative under the circumstance. If it is beyond your control, something you cannot do anything about, do not ever bother yourself. Less stress, indeed. Having this kind of self-control, is one of the many ways to decongest stress in your life. Self-control is the basic foundation to properly manage stress in your daily activities for a joyful perspective. Since our focus is more on the things we can control, it gives you an empowering feeling, that will urge you to move in the direction of your chosen solution, for eventual peace of mind, which leads to a soulful joy. Having this kind of strategy to always focus on what you can control, will certainly give you that feeling of confidence, and boldness to hurdle your next activity. This is a disciplined approach not to be perturbed by something you cannot manage. Without a doubt, you can go on with your life positively, expecting only the best thing to happen, 
which is basically possibility thinking. Create a momentum leading to your right direction, to achieve your goals. That is certainly very exciting. At some point in time, however, this technique seems ineffective for some. What if something came up, that in one way or the other, you can control, but the noise of the activity is still getting your nerve? What will you do? How will you approach it? The best way I know is, redirection. Yes, that is the key. When you cannot control what is happening, challenge yourself to control the way you respond to what is happening. The response is what you can control. That is where power is. The power you have over a certain situation. You need to change the course of action to a new, or different place or purpose. As I keep on saying, your responsibility creates the only two categories in life. Things you control, against the things you do not control. Do you think it is a lot better to dedicate your time and energy to those you can control? That is why by redirecting a worse scenario engulfing you, you can intelligently evaluate if you have to take it on, or not. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is, by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions, as mentioned by Dale Carnegie, in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Sometimes, it is all right to worry about the things you can control, especially if you feel stress, anxious, or even depressed. But do not stay there for too long. Do not be bothered too much. That is the secret, an absolute power. You have to use your brain completely, and not your emotions in deflecting negative thinking. Always allow your intelligence to overpower your emotions. Obviously, your head is placed higher than your heart. As a matter of awareness, your direction of life should not be controlled by others, or anything to that effect. Your self-control is your strength. Like a compass, it is your faithful guide in traversing your path to success. Manage yourself and your surroundings, so you can set yourself up, for success. Focus on your priorities and decisions that matter more. That is the starting point to do something in the direction of the things you can control. Never allow something not under your control to control you. This is the one you should be thinking about the most. Focus on what is in sight, and dedicate your time and energy towards it, no matter how critical the situation is. What is in front of you, is impactful on whatever state you are in. Stop wasting precious energy on what you can do nothing about. As it is, shifting of moods should not be based on the insignificant actions of someone else, or glittering things but withering worth in the end. Pausing is like saying, there must be a better way. Just enjoy the value of the process. A certain thrill and satisfaction are patient partners along the way, in achieving your goals. Always find meaning and pride in your work. As you go along, you can build meaningful habits and routines, that will let you stay engaged and motivated. Soon enough, you will certainly get there to where you want to be. You will get there even faster than you think. Section 5, Alternatives 
Alternatives Generation At what appears to be the end of the tunnel is the output. With this output, alternatives are generated, and the best one comes on top as the main solution. Output contributes to achieving the outcome or regulated stress, which is your desired result. After properly processing the input or challenges, the output or alternatives is created at the end of the process, and that is what we call, the pause. The output is simply the means to an end, in the whole system. Available alternatives or options to choose from, were brought about by the free flow of ideas, as a result of thoroughly analyzing challenges by calmly pausing. With these well-organized thought processes, ideas tend to be open to positive and negative feedback, a much disciplined way of treating the entire ball game. After appreciatively evaluating the issues on hand, it is now easy to weed out the good and better for the best. This move is a calculated one because of a strong motivation to act confidently, your actions are properly prioritized, according to your criteria for your desired result, it is like triage in the medical world, sorting out what comes first on the line, next, then last. As we know, nothing stands alone. Everything affects everything. The steps that comprise the whole system, are dependent on how they perform as a whole, to arrive at substantial, and sustainable improvement. Attempts to bring improvements to arrive at the end result, are undermined if you fail to address the performance of these steps, in a harmonious fashion. The components of the whole orchestra, which are the input, process, and output, should always be observed, for the outstanding delivery of their functions. Examine the linkages, and interactions between these elements that comprise the whole system. Interrelationships of the different perspectives of the steps, should move holistically. Therefore, at some point, we need to assess how far we have gone in achieving our desired result. You have to throw your weight in attaining your outcome, on the combined efforts of the system in place. Monitoring represents the collective gains of the different steps involved, in arriving at the so-called destination, that is, the regulated stress state. The monitoring function of the whole system, is the feedback mechanism for the qualitative characteristic of the goal you want to achieve. Feedback is the essential component of the system's thinking approach, where separate but interconnected parts work together, to make up the dynamics of the whole. United we stand, divided we fall, appropriately labeled as the best motto for this concept, to support the connectivity and interrelatedness of the steps, in reaching the outcome systematically. The synergies of the parts to produce the intended output, with its eventual desired outcome. The availability of expanded choices creates more satisfying solutions to the chronic problems besetting us. This is what we need to stand tall amidst complex, and messy stress modes that affect our whole being. Section 6, Regulated Stress how would you know that you have practiced self-control? You have achieved self-controlled reactions, if your life has a regulated effect on your stress level. Intelligent assessment of all situations affecting you, with less emotional influence, is the end result. Living a stress-free life may seem impossible, if not totally out of this world. The environment surrounding your earthly activities, has a tremendous impact on how you manage your thinking patterns, actions, 
and corresponding emotions. The good news is, stress-free activities can be learned. Not completely free of stress, but a regulated one, something that is controlled. To achieve your dreams, you need to be smart enough, not to compromise on your life. Live in a rich and meaningful manner, to lighten the burden or struggles that impede your path along the way. You can easily reach your destination through a self-controlled direction. The bottom line of enjoyment in living, is a controlled stress scenario of life. Continuing to live in this fashion, creates what we call, joy. This is the ultimate impact of the outputs you put in, to manage your activities in achieving your dreams. You empower yourself to behave in a controlled manner, in every challenging scenario, to always come out the winner. That is, being vulnerable, humble, and open to every possibility. By slowing down, or pausing to feel the process of attaining your desired outputs, that round up the outcome you want, you can easily adapt to the pace of life, that is best for you. Your life's burden will become light, so to speak. All in all, go into a relationship with your body, mind, and spirit. Get into your body, and feel your feelings. Just be yourself without judgment. In this way, you just ride the waves of life, with the feeling of contentment, and peace of mind. Grateful for all the blessings, Nicholas Sparks has this to thank, the best love is the kind that awakens the soul, and makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts, and brings peace to our minds. And that's what you've given me. That's what I'd hope to give you forever. Wow, beautifully said. Section 7, Real Life Experiences Pepper Jacka, Entrepreneur, Leyte, Philippines Once in a seemingly hopeless situation, when I cannot seem to open my laptop, I got so frustrated. I was so mad to the point of banging it. But wait. Suddenly, I thought of how to manage your emotions properly. What the heck of stressing yourself, to something you cannot even control? Why not following what I preached all along? So, to make a story short, I conditioned my mind not to be stressed to a situation I cannot even grasp to change the needed outcome. There you go. I turn off my laptop and do other diffused activities to divert my mind off it. Relaxing my mind and emotions to do other work just to divert my attention, from something I cannot control. After a while finishing my stuff activity, I turned on my laptop again. Lo and behold! My laptop was resurrected to its dear life. Coincidence or what, this simple strategy seems effective. Thor Happy, Computer Games Enthusiast, Dubai, United Arab Emirates There was one occasion where I was supposed to attend a night party. Normally, I do not attend this kind of party that's a bit late at night. Well, what a heck, you can do this once in a while. So there I went. Although the decision to attend or not is definitely under my control, the party I cannot. While talking to my friends at the party, suddenly, a rude party goer, most likely a bit drunk, approached us, and trying to put his weight all over the place. Got a little infuriated, I was about to confront the guy. 
It dawned on me about assessing the situation, on whether I can control it or not. I cannot control him, and that I can control how I would react under the situation. So, to make a long story short, I just ignored him and went on with our usual friendly, and happy conversations with my friends. However, continuous interjections of the rude guy created some sort of commotion. This did not escape the alertness of the security people. Subdued properly, the rude guy was surprisingly controlled, and unmoved, as he was slowly and eventually became sober. The spirit of the liquor came down from his head to his stomach. What a way! Control seems to be the name of the game. A situation like this, even in a minor event, is very helpful. Your emotion to react is a choice. Essentially, choosing to focus on what you can control, makes a better difference. Section 8, Now I Know Peace of mind is a joyful heart. Being happy and contented can make your world go round. They are the best outcomes for your good life. Ultimately, they build confidence and self-esteem. You will have the courage to move on, unperturbed by the cobwebs of uncertainties along the way, in the direction of your dreams. Peace of mind comforts your being to a restful state, a predecessor of regulated stress. You can have regulated stress, by analyzing a particular challenge or difficult situation, whether you can control it or not. If you cannot control, then let it be, but observe on the sideline. On the other hand, if you can control, then formulate the best solution among the different alternatives available to you. Then, move on and monitor the effect, if it is according to your desired outcome. Act now, it is never too late. There is no arguing, that self-control is a very important issue today. Hardly a day passes, that your ability to withstand outside pressures, is the challenge needed to move to your destination. A joyful heart. Clearly, in the words of the Serenity Prayer, written by the American theologian Reinhold Niebuhr, in 1892-1971. It is commonly quoted as God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And Wisdom to know the difference. Section 9, Commitment you will probably say, Oh that is so easy. I have enough credentials, and experience to back up my character, to do this pause stuff. Yes you can, by all means. However, the real measure is. Will you do it? It is your willingness and your action relative to your plan that will certainly do the trick. It is your commitment to proceed, after a careful pause, in the direction of your goal, that is, your end result. Commitment is self-discipline. Brian Tracy said it well, self-discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you feel like it or not. This is the secret ingredient of getting what you want, because it develops courage and persistence in every area of your life. You need to behave in a strictly controlled way in prioritizing your activities, so as not to lose sight of the ball. Commitment is your engagement, to charge yourself in achieving the goals you set, despite difficulties along your path. 
For your goals to be manageable, consistently take baby steps, like every single day, to move you forward in the direction of your most important goal at the moment, utilize this system, and enjoy the process in your journey. Pause is the magic formula, to begin gaining a fresh perspective, in reflecting your moves with greater clarity and impact. It is reflective thinking for better insights, a powerful discernment tool. By stepping back from the issue on hand, you can have a connection to what is most important. That is why, if you are assured of a steady, and deliberate process, your commitment to arriving contentedly at your destination, is just a piece of cake. Having this hard-nosed commitment, gives you a clearer picture of your route to success, that translates to a significant ending, which is the core of your being, for a joyful heart. Your transformation, begins.